Oh, yeah, it was a big event for sure, about as big as it can get for a regular season hockey game. That was the case. The United Center, guys, was the place to be yesterday. Two major events rolled into one as celebrities, hockey stars, and Chris Chelios and his family were on hand, along with thousands of fans, to see his number seven raised to the rafters. Former Hawks play-by-play -play announcer Pat Foley did the honors on the ice. We proudly retire the jersey of one of the most iconic and enduring figures in Chicago Blackhawks history. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ice one of your own, Chris Chelios. The day I was traded to Chicago was the greatest day of my life. As you saw, Chelios rolled out in a 1962 Cadillac convertible for his ceremony, while stars like Wayne Gretzky, Ed Belfour, Jeremy Roenick, all looked on along with celebrities like Cindy Crawford, Eddie Vedder, former Cubs GM Theo Epstein and Dennis Rodman celebrated too. There's a lot of people to thank when you play 26 seasons in the NHL, nine of them for his hometown Hawks. I want to thank everybody. I couldn't be more proud to represent you, the Chicago Blackhawks, the city of Chicago, as one of your own. I hope someday someone standing here from Chicago does the same thing, but it's going to take them a long time. Chelios is still the Blackhawks' leader all-time in penalty minutes. He won two of his three Norris trophies while he was with the Hawks. And he's not just known for the longevity of his career, but how that work ethic was part of what led to his fame after his playing days were over. Now, Chelios also said in the ceremony to Patrick Kane, who was there with the Red Wings, to not steal his thunder. But unfortunately, he may have spoken this into existence. Kane scored the game-winning goal in overtime, giving the Red Wings a 3-2 win over the Hawks. But Kane appreciated the welcome he received. Don't expect anything anything less from the Blackhawks with the tribute. And, um, you know, didn't know if I did enough laps or too many laps there. But uh, it was great to, uh, to share that moment with the fans. It's just a lot of emotions right now, you know, scoring that goal, being back here, being on a different team. And uh, just tried to, tried to show the fans there at the end I'll always have my heart here. Now, Alex and Kate, an update on shoot the puck. If you missed it, Cindy Crawford won. She hit the center goal. What? She was the only person who scored. Eddie Vedder and Theo Epstein came up short. Hmm. Amazing. Didn't expect you to say that. That is yeah. amazing. Good for Cindy. Quite a day. All Thank you, Layla. All kinds of fun lessons.